Hi there! Welcome back to a new video from the series Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Heartbeat But Were Too Afraid to Ask. In this video, we're going to take a look into the Auto Discover feature that allows Heartbeat to automatically discover containers running on top of a given container infrastructure. If somehow you've missed the previous video where I explain what Heartbeat is, how to download, install, and configure it, as well as what are the common line of options available, please follow the link below in the description to catch up with the conversation. Today, we're going to take a look into how to configure Heartbeat to automatically discover containers running on top of Docker. Previously, we've discussed the concept of monitors. Monitors are going to be those small configurations that you create to instruct Heartbeat about how to collect uptime data from systems and services. And this example called myconfig.yaml, we have a monitor that is configured to collect uptime data from the endpoint described in the URLs parameter every five seconds. Very often, you are going to create one monitor for every single application or service that you want to collect uptime data. However, if you are dealing with applications that are deployed as Docker containers, that could become troublesome because you don't know upfront how many instances and their specific endpoints of the applications that you were running on top of Docker. Let's discuss this with one example. And here, I have an application called Hello App that was created using Golang and it exposes a HTTP endpoint over the port 8080-8080. From this Docker image, developers can spin up multiple container instances and each one of those container instances would have to be monitored to collect uptime data. And this is the challenge that we're trying to address here. We need to find a way to configure Heartbeat to automatically discover those container instances and associate a dynamic monitor for each one of those instances. We're going to address this by using a feature called Auto Discover. To illustrate how this works, let's create a new configuration file that uses the Auto Discover option. I'm going to create a new file called dynamic config for this example. In this file, I'm going to configure Auto Discover to use the support for Docker to match up any container instances that come from a image. Heartbeat support three different providers. There's support for Docker, Kubernetes, and AWS load balancers. In this video, we're going to discuss Docker, but if you want to know more about how the support for Kubernetes and AWS load balancers work, follow the link below in the description. For a given provider, you have to come up with a template. A template is a combination of a condition and a config. The condition will tell Heartbeat about how to match up and detect a container instance. In this example, we are instructing Heartbeat to identify any container instance that comes from the Docker image Hello app. In the config session, this is how you configure Heartbeat about how to instantiate the dynamic monitor that will be associated with the container instances detected by the condition. And here we are using a monitor that is type of HTTP and it will point to the dynamic information collected by the container, which is the combination of the host and the port of the container instance. Since we know upfront th that the container exposes an endpoint of the slash hello, we can use this information to figure out how this configuration will be applied to the monitor. And as we've seen before, we can also use the option schedule to specify for how frequent the collection of uptime data will be collected. We can optionally give a name to this configuration that will make easier for whoever is looking to the uptime data in Kibana to identify this container instance. 
We can use this information by specifying the parameter name and then providing a string that can be a combination of static and dynamic data. So the name of whatever container instances that has been created will come with hello instance, and then it will contain the name of the container that will be provided during deployment. I'm going to save this configuration and then start up heartbeat so we can start our testing. To start Heartbeat, just use the same notation that we've used before, which is running the native executable that comes with Heartbeat and specify the configuration file with the optional parameter minus E. As you can see here in the logs, Heartbeat has been executed and it started the Auto Discover Manager. So it is now ready to identify any container instances that matches the criteria that we've configured. Now that we have Heartbeat up and running, let's play with some Docker container instances. First, let's check how many container instances are currently running. As you can see here, there are none at least none that come from the Docker image hello app. Now let's spin up a first Docker instance from the hello app image. I'm going to call this hello app one, and I am going to bind to the port 7777 locally that's coming from the port 808088 from the container image. I'm going to create a couple more Docker container instances using different ports. So right now we have three container instances that are being created out of the image hello app. Let's take a look on Kibana to see how this has been shown there. As you can see here, Kibana is currently shown that there are three container instances being executed and were created out of the Docker image hello app. Heartbeat automatically created a monitor for each one of those instances, which is what we are trying to achieve with this example. Mind though, that the name of each monitor was created based on the configuration that we've provided in the auto discover option, which is using the hello instance static data along with the container name that was providing during its creation. You might have noticed though that the containers are up and running, but heartbeat is showing that the three of them are down. This is happening because each container instance is running on their own network and since Heartbeat is currently being executed on the host machine, the host machine doesn't have network access to these container instances. You can easily solve this by executing Heartbeat in the same network that the container instances are being executed. One of the interesting things that the uptime application in Kiban allows you to is to inspect specific details for each monitor. If you click in one of the monitors, it will give you further information about the monitor execution and some of the metadata that will be interested for troubleshooting purposes, such as the duration of each monitor, the pings that has been executed over time, and the details for every single check that was executed. This is handed to isolate and verify specific problems.